Hello everybody, in this video we're going to be talking about Father Richard Rohr, who unfortunately is not a trustworthy spiritual guide. But he is very popular, he's very prominent in his writings, in his lectures, in his retreats, and many people like Father Richard Rohr, and they follow and subscribe to him, but unfortunately, while he has many good things to say, and there are good truths in his book, many spiritual points made, unfortunately and sadly they're surrounded by heresy and by New Age counterfeit theological ideas, a lot of dissidents against the Catholic Church, and more. There are many problems with Father Richard Rohr in both his teachings, the things he says, and the things he does, and we're going to be discussing these and showing that he is not a trustworthy spiritual guide right after this. Hello everybody and welcome to Catholic Truth, where we teach and preach nothing but the Catholic truth that has come from Jesus Christ over the last 2,000 years and his Catholic Church. There's no reason to reinvent the wheel. There's no reason to think, oh, the Catholic Church got it wrong. We need to make up our own way, as many people in the Catholic Church do, including some priests, nuns, and religious. There's no reason to do it because we already have the truth from Christ, which we just need to preach, and that is what we do here at Catholic Truth. If you're interested more in what we do, please check out our website, thecatholictruth.org, or see our description section below. I went to an Episcopalian church once to see Father Richard Rohr speak, kind of undercover, if you will. And nobody knows me there, and so I just went to hear what he had to say. And what he said as he began his talk is the same thing that he says in many of his books. He disparages the Catholic Church. He disparages the Catholic clergy. He disparages and dissents against traditional Catholicism, and he sits there making fun of it. As many other liberal New Age priests do, they make fun of true Catholicism. They put down true Catholicism for their own enlightened version of Catholicism, as if they know more than Holy Mother Church, as if they know more than the Holy Spirit who has guided the church for 2,000 years. And this is one of the big problems with Richard Rohr is he makes the Catholic Church seem bad. So when people are reading his writings, oh, well, he must be right. He's pointing out all the flaws when in fact, all along, he is the one who is flawed and has been flawed. The Catholic Church is not wrong. And that's the same thing that heretics and liberals and modernists have said. But the Catholic Church is not wrong. It's guided by Christ and it's guided by his spirit. And we can see the problems in Father Richard Rohr, who says we have to basically get rid of doctrines and dogmas for an enlightened sort of thinking. And he has his own retreat center, a contemplative center, uh, and he has all of these dissident people there and people who disagree with Catholic teaching and even teach outright heresy and blasphemy. Just for one example, he has invited Marianne Williamson, you know, the person who ran for president recently in the United States of America. She ran for president and she is the worldwide expert in A Course in Miracles, which we will be debunking on this channel. But A Course in Miracles, if you didn't know, says that Jesus' crucifixion has no meaning, and that Jesus' crucifixion needs to be undone because it's wrong. There's no such thing as sin. There's no such thing as evil. Human beings haven't sinned, so there's no need for salvation, and there's nothing that Jesus needed to do for us on the cross. So the whole thing needs to be undone. I mean, this literally undercuts the entire core foundation of Christianity and what we believe. And Father Richard, why in the world would you invite someone who doesn't even believe in the real Jesus, who do, who blasphemes Jesus, who says that salvation is wrong, and you have a different definition of salvation, and sin, and redemption, and everything that's the opposite of what Catholics believe. Why in the world would he invite someone like that to speak at his contemplative retreat center, a Catholic retreat center, unless he himself subscribes to many of the same things, which he does? And you can see the problems with this. He doesn't even know who Jesus is. How can we follow Father Richard Rohr if he does not even know who our good Lord is? And he has false versions and understandings of him, like Jesus is the cosmic Christ. Or he believes in the New Age uh, belief that Jesus 
the man who lived 2,000 years ago and the Christ, who is kind of an eternal being, are two different beings. And Jesus ended up becoming the Christ. I mean, this is what New Agers teach, people like Eckhart Tolle and things like that, but this is not Catholic teaching. And I want to show you, just so you don't think that I'm making it up, I'm going to play a, a quick clip from a video I found on Father Richard Rohr explaining the cosmic Christ, and then we're going to talk deeper about the major problems with this. In the first 2,000 years, most of the work, except for the mystics who largely got this, you know, mainline Christianity, Catholic and Protestant, has largely been concerned about Jesus the historical person, which is good. But what we missed out on was the cosmic Christ. The Christ is born the moment God decides to show himself, the moment God decides to materialize. Now, modern science would call that the Big Bang. Right? The Big Bang is the birth of the Christ, 14.5 billion years ago. What? This is absolute nonsense. Nonsense. And the fact that a Catholic priest is teaching this, I mean, I shouldn't even have to make a video on this. Catholic truth should not have to make videos on this. But so many priests have been led astray by the New Age, which leads many people astray by the New Age. But he's saying that Jesus and the Christ are two separate people? Heresy. He's saying that Jesus became the Christ? Heresy. He has said that other people, many people can become Christ? Heresy. It's all New Age heresy. It's black blasphemy even, because it takes away from the deity of who Jesus Christ is in his hypostatic union. If you don't know what that is, that's a big word, but it means, I mean, there's a lot of heresies that have happened with Jesus down through the age. Some think he's only human, only divine, divine in a ghost body, divine in a human body. And they don't understand that Jesus is fully human and fully divine, 100% of each in one body as one person, two separate natures. Jesus, the eternal word of God, took on human flesh. Jesus didn't become the Christ. And what is this nonsense about the Big Bang being Jesus, the birth of the Christ? Seriously? I mean, this alone should make people wake up when they hear this. But I looked at, I mean, go, you can probably find the video online. And if you look at it, it's so sad that so many Catholics on that video were like, this is great. I love being Catholic. Proud to be Catholic. Love Father Richard Rohr. Woohoo! You know, like, they have no idea, which is why I wrote my book on the New Age movement. And we talk about Father Richard Rohr and other false spiritual New Age guides because Catholics need a blueprint of what is true and what is not. What is truth from God and what is the counterfeit? So you can check out our book, Counterfeit Spirituality, on Amazon or Barnes & Noble or on our Sunday Visitor and different things like that. But the bottom line is he's not teaching Catholic truth. Regarding the Incarnation, he doesn't say that it's Jesus Christ made man, which it is. He says it's the ongoing revelation of Jesus. He says it's the ongoing revelation of the Christ, uniting matter and spirit and operating as one everywhere. Together, Jesus and the Christ, he says, show us the way, the truth, and the life. This is absolute blasphemy. It's hard not to get upset and really passionate about this because so much filth and so much false counterfeit teaching has entered our church over the last 2,000 years, which is why we make these videos, to expose them, to expose. Jesus says in the Bible to expose sin, to expose falsities, to bring it into the light so that everyone can see it clearly because it's not true. Father Richard Rohr is a false spiritual guide. Here's some other things that he teaches. He says Catholics and Protestants have primarily been preoccupied with Jesus, the historical Jesus, the one who lived 2,000 years ago, and they've totally missed the Christ. And he doesn't understand that there is a hypostatic union. They are one and the same. The Christ, Jesus, are the same. Jesus is the Word of God who took on human flesh and became man, as it says in John 1.14. So when he became man, he was still the Christ. He was still the Word of God. Christ just means anointed one, the Messiah, the promised one. In reality, he's not the cosmic Christ. He's the Word of God, eternal Word of God, who took on human flesh. This is an important distinction of Christology.
And so he makes all of these New Age blunders, humongous blunders, saying that Jesus, being a man 2,000 years ago, found Christ consciousness and God consciousness, which is the same heresy we talked about in the last video on Deepak Chopra, who also says that Jesus became the Christ and Jesus found himself and Jesus be became enlightened and found divine enlightenment and found God consciousness. This is all New Age mumbo jumbo. And worse, he says that we're all Christ. I mean, there's not just one Christ. We are all divine. We all can be divine. And in fact, this is why he invites Marianne Williamson, who promotes blasphemy, because he teaches some of the same things. In fact, in A Course of Miracles, it actually says that we are all in heaven right now. That's right. We are all in heaven right now. We just don't realize it because we haven't found that enlightenment yet, that God consciousness. But when we do and we become spiritually awakened, or as they would say in 2021 in America, when you become spiritually woke, <laughs> then you are going to realize that you never left heaven. That's right, folks. We're in heaven right now. We just don't realize it. And when we come to self-enlightenment, we're going to realize that we never left heaven. We've always been one with God. We've always been divine. And again, not to critique him as a person too much, but I am going to destroy this ideology because it's nonsense. Father Richard Rohr subscribes to the Enneagram, which is a false personality system, which we are going to expose on this channel as well in the future, and we have a whole chapter on in this book. And sadly, he even promotes God as father and mother, he and she. He talks about the divine self, true self, false self, the false self being just the human unwoke self, and the true self with a capital S, like Deepak Chopra says, in our, which we mentioned in our last video, and Father Thomas Keating and other New Age priests, they say that the true self is the divine self, and that's why it's with a capital S, because we are divine. We are one with God. They take divinization too far because they say we are one with God. He also teaches syncretism, monism, the third eye, which is a Hindu concept, and so much more. There are so many problems with Father Richard Rohr that one thing is clear. He is a false spiritual guide that can't be trusted. And again, this is not to mock him. This is not to put him down. This is not to make fun of him. And this is not to disrespect him. But the truth has to be told that what he's teaching, many of the things he's teaching, are not true. They're false. And we here at Catholic Truth promote one and only one thing, Catholic Truth. And if teachings and ideologies and beliefs don't line up with what the Catholic Church teaches and don't line up with what we've taught for 2,000 years, then it's false, divisive, and delusive. And we don't want to promote that. And we don't want to follow that because Jesus says in Matthew chapter 7, there are only two paths. One leads to heaven and the other leads to hell. There are no other paths. One to heaven, one to hell. So if you're not on the path to heaven, you're believing false spiritual teachings, then you're walking the wrong path. You're going the wrong way and you may wind up in hell for all eternity despite your best intentions. As one person says, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Good intentions are not enough. We need truth, which is why we work so hard here at Catholic Truth to give you that truth. And we don't make it up ourselves. We don't feel like we know more than the church. We don't have to say, oh, but, you know, all the scholars and theologians, they're all wrong. The priests are wrong. I and I alone have the true, liberated, enlightened theology and teaching of the Catholic Church. Once you have that and you lift yourself above everyone else, that's when you know you are off the right track. So please do your part to like this video, share this video, and leave a comment down below because all of these things help to make our videos more popular and help people to see them so we can get this message out there and undo the damage that's been done in our church for the last 50, 60 years. So much since the 1960s and 70s has flooded into our church, new age, heresy, false teachings. Our retreat houses across our great country here in the United States of America are infestations of New Age counterfeits. So many retreat centers just get away with their New Age ideologies and false Catholic teachings, and they operate under the context that they're Catholic and that they're teaching Catholic teachings, and they're not. There's almost nothing Catholic in some of these retreat centers, and they're teaching Buddhist and Hindu and other synchristic teachings, which are not part of the Catholic faith. So don't be deceived. Follow the narrow road. Follow Christ. Anyone who makes their own way is a liar and a counterfeit and a thief. That's what Jesus said in John chapter 10. False spiritual guides. 
If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel for many more. And also check out our video on Deepak Chopra, who we just made a video on, who is a false spiritual guide that many Catholics believe as well, and many Christians quote him as well. And if you could consider supporting our work, this work is so important and we need people like you giving $20, 30 50 $100 a month to support our work, to invest in our work so we can help save souls, change lives, and undo the damage that's been done in this church. If you think that our work is important, please consider giving back. If we've blessed you, please consider blessing us in return and giving back so that we can help save this fallen world. Again, please like this video. Please share it. Please comment. Please give it to everyone. If you know anyone who's been led astray by Father Richard Rohr, this is the video to send them. May God bless you.